back with this 2003 Honda Odyssey. I'm going to be doing the rear brakes this time. Um, I have the car lifted up and some of the lug nuts removed, so I'll remove, be removing the wheel and I get to the brake system. Okay, first thing I'll be doing is taking off the caliper and uh, one, two bolts here. Let's take a 12 millimeter wrench to remove those. So what I'm gonna do is try and get the caliber to move to push in some. It's working. Make it easier to take the caliber off. And with those two bolts removed, the caliber should come right off. Okay. Set that aside. Looking at the rotor, there are no uh, screws that hold the rotor on, so that's going to remove the uh, caliber bracket. Let me check these guide bolts. They're turning, so that's a good sign that the caliber bracket is good. Okay, now these two. This one right here. And this one right here, our 15 millimeter socket to remove the caliber bracket. Okay, that's brought removed. Should now be able to get the caliber on the bracket at least. Because of the ridge that's on the uh, the rotor here, the pads are difficult to get off. So I just pry it off of here. I heard anything but the old brake pins. Take the rotor off. I'm going to use one of these. No, I can probably compress the uh, caliber with just a C clamp. I think my uh, clamp is big enough to go over the piston and compress this in. Okay, I got the rotor removed. And uh, the pistons compressed into the uh, caliber. So I'll put the uh, new rotor on. I sprayed it with brake clean. Get the uh, residues on there. Uh, Still got to get the old brake pads out. I just use a, a sledgehammer and get the old pads out. Okay, there's a correction on the uh, caliber bracket bolts. These bolts here take a 14 millimeter, not a 15. These two bolts here are 15. Now I'm going to replace the uh, brake pad guides, the hardware, and install the brake pads. Okay, with the uh, pads installed, new pads, I'm going to take off the, uh, the guide pins and lubricate these and then reinstall them. Just pull down the boot and they come right out. On this one it did, so that's a good thing. Okay, everything's ready for the caliber to be installed. 
Got the uh, guide pins uh, lubricated. New brake hardware. So just put the caliber on. And reinstall the caliber bolts. These take a 12 millimeter wrench to tighten and, and, and remove them. Okay, that's everything installed and torqued down. I even uh, uh, set the caliber piston, the caliber piston, by pumping the brakes. So. All I was left is put the wheel back on and lower it to the ground.